In this video, we have J.L. Warren battling with Barthologist Christian Joined a Create channel, where many of our favorite pre suppers were hanging out, relaxing all cool. This is a very fun video, and I felt like J.L. Warren pretty thoroughly annihilated all their points. Please make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and enjoy the video. We'll see you tomorrow. If Jesus failed the test of the Pharisees, which led to his, you know, invariably led to his execution, then why after his resurrection would he not appear before the Pharisees in order to show that they were wrong and say, I, that you, and just, and, you know, show the fulfillment? Why would he only appear to people who already believed? Because he underwent the test and so he failed. And then if he resurrected, that obviously would show that he that he actually passed the test and that they were wrong, and then he could have changed their minds because all of a sudden he's appeared. So Well, I can explain that. Um, so because he was gonna rise after three days, which is what he said um when he was in front of the court, right? The altar was broken. There was no more there was no more tabernacle. There's no more there's no more sacrifices, there's no more said he there's no more um, burnt offerings, and the but Jews he, haven't done it since then. They don't have a temple. But he didn't appear before. They don't them. have a temple, brother. But he didn't appear before them. Well, I gave you all the prophecies that he fulfilled in the chat. I put no, it in I, the chat. I, I don't care about the prophecies. I'm asking why wouldn't he do it? Because That's that would kind of it. that, but that did, but obviously it didn't prove it to them. His ministry wasn't for them. His ministry was for the people that followed him. Then why would he ever undergo the test of the Pharisees anyway? Because they were the ones who killed him. But why they would he? Like why would he, he submit? Doing. Why would he submit to the test in the first place if the outcome is irrelevant? Because the will is not his; it's only of the Father's. Uh, the, the, okay. Either way, I'm still asking. Why do something that is superfluous? It's not necessary to be done. Why do it? I mean, that's a great question. I mean, we, we, he was praying to the cup. He was praying. To, and, and LSF, what did he say to Peter about the cup? He said, what are you going to take this cup from me? It shows Jesus wasn't perfect. There's, I'm failing to see, like, like, why do something not logically necessitated? If there is an end goal to be accomplished, then it stands to reason that the actions taken will be in accordance of accomplishing that goal. So why do something, a make a huge big thing, because his failure of the test is what invariably led to his execution. So why undergo the test if the outcome didn't matter? Why would he even submit to that? Why would he give him the who opportunity? Wants him, who wants to read him a, a, a Bible verse? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm going off the Bible. The Bible doesn't provide an explanation for this. I'm, yeah. I'm asking how so, you reconcile John, this. Yes, put it in the chat. Uh, John 16, 12 through 15. How do you reconcile it? Why the unnecessary action? It's not, it's not unnecessary. Jesus well, Christ raised the ethics of man to the highest plane. Dude, if you're not going to answer it, then just say you don't have an answer. Listen, this was, this was not only the persecution of Jesus Christ. This is the persecution of the people of the time and how it was going. Like this was, this was, this was something that was done to people. You, you do realize that. It doesn't answer the question, Barth. If you're not going to answer the they, question, they just didn't say you do this anymore. The temple's been destroyed since then. I'm trying to explain this to you, brother. It, it's the irrelevant. Was destroyed in 70, 69. It's irrelevant. Or 70. It's irrelevant. Oh. It does, that doesn't you, justify why the act, why the why the unnecessary act was undertaken. It doesn't make any sense. It's like why do a thing? if the outcome is irrelevant and especially doesn't even get you closer to accomplishing the goal. He could have just refused to submit and the outcome would have been the exact same. Why would you, if you're, if you, if he didn't, he accept, didn't submit to the devil. No, no, to the test of the Pharisees. 
to teach he refuted us them every time. To he didn't need to. He didn't need to. He refuted them. But he didn't. That's why he, did. he failed. How did he fail? He failed the test of the Pharisees. They found that he what that he did not meet what he was claiming to meet. That he was not the person he was claiming to be. He was making claims so why that we were heretical. Jews? Why aren't we all Jews? Did they kill? Because them? the Roman Empire, or, because the uh, Roman what? Empire was bigger than the Jews. Okay, but that's irrelevant. That's not true. There's no. Yes, it was. The Roman Empire had more power and more authority in the spread of their ideologies than the Jews did. The only difference is that the Roman the Roman Empire picked up Christianity and pushed Christianity forward at the tip of a sword. The question is. Why, if he if he was going to fail the test, which would invariably lead to his execution, it doesn't change the odds. Because if he refused to do it, if he would refuse to uh, submit to the test, it invariably would have led to his execution. So the question then becomes, why submit to the test if the outcome is going to be the exact same? Because he's not going to, you'd only do it if there was a chance that you could change their minds. Otherwise, can you're somebody read him John 16, 16 yeah, read, read it, Barth, the, the, well, this, John Barth, this answer is not in the Bible. Right? This answer is not in the Bible. Yes, it is. I'm no, it's not. That's why I'm asking question. you. You all, you actually, I, I, wish almost, I, I wish I could read it to you. You actually almost got here. there. You, you almost got there. You said, because Jesus goes by the will of the father, which is a, ostensibly yeah. and which is ostensibly an appeal to mystery. Like you don't know why God would oh, would would have this happen like this, but you just accept that there's a justifiable the reason as to why. The prophecies for you submitted to teach us. Because I literally put minds every prophecy in the chat. I put all the prophecies for you. I mean, the prophecies are irrelevant. The prophecies are irrelevant because they still don't accept it. Theoretically, you could engage in a test. Just for the mere sake of affirming your own authority over the test itself. But they, if he knew he wasn't going to pass, what good does it serve? When, did, when was he refuted? Serves, when was he refuted by the Jews? I, I would say that it serves to enforce his authority over the test itself. To say that the very process you would seek to adjudicate the test is me. I have doesn't, that the, doesn't that presume the truth of what Christ is claiming? To assume that the tr that the test is invariably he has authority over the Jews. He could do things on the Sabbath. He is the authority. Yeah, so okay. you understand yeah, the right. Christian paradigm is not problematic for God Himself to make presumptions, right? Okay, so it's an appeal to mystery. That's all I needed. I just needed to know. I wanted to confirm well, I mean, that this is all predicated upon. I didn't get to read the I just, scripture. Here, I just needed to confirm that it was all predicated upon appeal to mystery. If, if you need the logical it's fallacy to, to get from, if you need the logical fallacy to get from point A to point B, that's fine. Just admit. I, it. I, I put I the prophecies in the it. chat. You're the totally The prophecies are irrelevant, wrong. Barth. The prophecies are irrelevant. Well, Barth. Very, uh, that's how I'm answering the question. If, you your answer one, doesn't why? make sense because your answer because doesn't follow. You said number one. Why would he engage in the test? for any other reason than to try and prove them wrong. And number two, how does engaging with the test help him to get to the end goal? Well, I would say by engaging with the test, knowing that he would fail by the Pharisee standards, it accomplishes two simultaneous goals. Number one, he accomplishes the goal of affirming his own transcendental authority over the test by making a point of saying, I am the adjudication process, not your own traditions, which have gone away from the law I established. And number two, if it fills the end goal, of being crucified, sacrificing himself for the sake of humanity, which is why he became incarnate in the first place. So going off those two premises, I don't see any logical problem. Well, I mean, that all assumes the truth of Christianity in the first place. I'm just trying to find out well, why no, people... I just, well, Chico, this, this I'm just, Chico, critique. Chico, I'm not, I'm not doing an internal critique, okay? I'm saying that why would a person do a That's thing that is cool. not necessitated in that respect? Like, why go through an unnecessary process? There's but nothing I mean, that would necessitate it. At, be, at best, you could say that Christ failed, that, that the person who, that, the per, that, that Jesus failed because Jesus was just a megalomaniacal, you know, heretical yeah. Jew who thought he was so, God. Well, that he was no different, goal, that he was no different than the David Koresh of so, Iron Age well, Palestine. What do, what do you believe the end goal of uh, Jesus was? <laughs> do what? What do you believe the end goal was? The end goal of what? Of Jesus. Like, what was his agenda exactly? What do you believe his end goal was? What, from what my position? Like, what, are you asking me what I think? Yeah, yeah. 
I think that he was a that he was a megalomaniacal, you know, heretical Second Temple Judaic rabbi who wandered around with his little cult of uh, cult of buddies who believed uh, his nonsense, and he wound up getting himself killed. He is no different. Uh, he is so no maybe, different. He is so no different. He is no different than the David Koresh oh, of Iron Age Palestine. Okay, cool. So Megan and Michael infers that he sought political uh, power in a sexual way. No, that not necessarily. Just that he believed that he was greater than everybody else. Okay, well, I mean, that's evident through his uh, claims. Well, how is well that yeah, he that claimed that, but that's only evidence of his megalomania. Of his megalomania. No, but it's not evidence that he was, that he was a god. But he rose from the dead. Than a rational belief. So, Did I mean, he rise kind of from the dead? Is that a historical I event, mean, or is that a theological so claim? Well, I mean, we, we oh, have this kind of like event. dismantle it, it, Christianity. It's, it's not a. It, it is not a historical it's event. Nasty. Nobody I'm claims that his resurrection was historical. You see, you see, you see, it is a theological passion. claim. I would. I would like to. Saint Paul you to said he met him after he died. So we have many historical attestations of of witnesses of his resurrection. Well, How many witnesses? Have, How many witnesses? How many witnesses? 500. I believe it's around the 500 mark. Who are they? I don't need to, I don't need to list every year. Yes, you do. Know, that's no, the problem. See, see, no, that's the problem. No, Chico, that's the problem. Oh, wait, wait, you wait, don't wait, have on. 500 witnesses. Oh, 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 you have one person. You have oh, oh, Chico. Oh, 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 Chico, you don't have 500 witnesses. You have one person claiming you have one person the claiming that there were 500 witnesses. You interacted and witnessed Julius Caesar. Now, what are you talking about? That's oh, a ridiculous this, standard. You have one person claiming that hey, there was the 500 person? witnesses. Who's one, who's one person? Paul. Oh, Paul. So you're saying that wasn't corroborated by both Tacitus and Josephus? No, it wasn't. It was repeated. Yes, it was. It, no, no. Yes, I've was. studied this. It was that, oh, that story. That, that information was repeated by Tacitus and Thallus because they uh, heard it after the fact and their accountings okay, so were you after. Do were, were, so you believe that both Tacitus and Josephus wouldn't engage in any Josephus wasn't was there. Josephus didn't come around until 40 years okay, after Christ again, posed his death. Why would he have to be there? Why would he have to be there? Be are you serious? Josephus that, that never saw status? Jesus. Josephus never saw Jesus. Okay, Josephus, again, Josephus didn't even live in the area. Jo Josephus didn't even live in the area. Josephus well, didn't come around. Josephus didn't come around. G Chico, Josephus didn't come yeah, around until know. damn near 40 years after Christ's death. Okay, well, how was that relevant to the point I made? Because anything that he any because anything that he would write down would just yeah. be a repetition of stuff that was told to him. Thank you very much. Oh, who's okay, so what's your point? He's just repeating the hearsay. That's all he's doing. What do you mean he's repeating the hearsay? So you're he's saying repeating one, the you're saying he's that repeating one, the story. He's writing down the that story that was told to him. He can't you're confirm saying, it. He, who you're, he, saying he, that, so you're saying that the historical oh. standard is impeached if one harkens on accounts of those who were around at the time of the event in question. Yeah, that's ridiculous. They, he wasn't around. I'm not saying he was around. Listen to listen to what I said. I said that he's harking on the account of one who was around. Who? Like, who? Name the person. Say again? Name the person. He affirms multiple, he affirms the accounts of multiple people who were around at the time. No, he didn't I mean, affirm them. He can't affirm yes, them because he wasn't there. He's simply he repeating them. A repetition of a claim oh, is not okay. an affirmation. Chico, a yes, repetition, Chico, a repetition of a claim is not an affirming of that claim. No, affirming is, course, would be to demonstrate, if, well, if, if you affirm a Chico, Chico. If you affirm a claim, you demonstrate the truth of the claim. That's an affirmation. You okay, affirm it to be true. Josephus, if you look at Josephus' works, he doesn't mean to say that these are the accounts of X. No, he says okay. this is he's what not, He's not interested, so. Yeah, you're the one who's not interested. You just keep sidestepping what I'm trying to say. No, I'm not sidestepping. You are making okay, so assertions that you can't back question. up and you keep answer interrupting me. You keep answer trying to overtalk me Joseph, because you know that, that you're getting wrecked. You happened. know you're wrecked here. You just say, this is what happened. Answer the question. Take answer the, the question I'm waiting. What question? Oh, so because you weren't listening the first two times. Yeah, maybe you should, cl maybe you should close your mouth for about five seconds so you can listen. How about Josephus that? said, this is what someone said happened. Nope. Josephus said, <laughs> That's right. this is what happened. That's what Josephus no, said. Josephus said, this is what I heard happened. Okay, let's look, let's look, at, the, let's look at the actual uh, text. And you realize that the testimony in Flavi that, 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 that the Flavionum is like heavily interpolated. You do know that, right? 
Oh, heaven is happening. Okay, cool. Yes. So you're saying that. So okay, so you're saying that we cannot trust any of the any of the words by Josephus. No. We can't trust all of it because we know it was heavily interpolated by Christians after the fact. Okay, the so one it's thing. A reliable and source, Chico, then why Chico, do you know how Chico? Do you know how we know that? Right, how we know that, Tom? Stylo, stylometric analysis. Oh, stylometric analysis. Which is a forensic technique to understand okay. Okay. to understand, which is a forensic technique that we question. utilize to determine who Chico. Does it is a forensic question. technique that we. It is a forensic technique that we utilize to determine who wrote a thing and who didn't write a thing. Now, I'm in common sense. Where are the portraits you mentioned, Ozo? I'm asking this quite simply. Is the text in question subject to that interpolation? Yes or no? Yes. See, now, the, the, Flavi the, the Flavionum, yes. Say the Flavionum, yes. Okay, cool. So you're saying as a result of this, the Flavionum is automatically not to be deemed as reliable? No, it's saying that if there are any parts that are reliable upon it, we can't really justify saying what parts are and are not. It's an interesting part of history, but the only thing as far as like of as far as Josephus' works that we can rely on is that the one that we confirmed came from him was his accounting of Jesus' brother. Okay, again, this seems like this seems like an arbitrary ground because this same standard isn't it's not held. arbitrary. Oh, it, it reduces the it reduces no, the veracity. No, this, this same standard isn't held to other historical works regarding Yes it is. it is. It absolutely no, is. No, it absolutely no, is. No, it's not. Yes, yes it is. is. That's no, how the, the, this technique is how we know. This technique is how we know what emperors in Rome wrote what stuff and what stuff was attributed yeah, yeah, to them I mean, by other know, people. This is how we know that the letters test. written by Pliny it's the Younger, different. this is how we know that the that Chico, this is, this is how we know how the letters war. written by Pliny the Younger that and were sent to, to Emperor Trajan and, and Trajan's responses back came from them. Who wrote what? This discussion is about is the Estoco event in question reliably? Yes, it's attended? in question. That's the question. Is yes, that, it is so, in question. So why are you going off on a non sequitur? Why are you going off on a non sequitur? It's not a non sequitur. I was using it's something not, to illustrate my point. Who wrote what rather than talking about the what? The okay, he's not. He's not. He's not, he just wants to run his mouth. Is so. Tested, reliable. Hey, Chico, is there a gospel according to Jesus? What is this? Okay, Ben and Jen, you're, you're such a you're such an L tier troll that it's just getting ridiculous. Wow. So you you're, insult you're, you're because he, he, you insult because he hits you with a legitimate I'm, question. I'm, I'm this, <laughs> you do this all the time and it just gets born off just certain, wave me off. Certain off. Amount of some sort. Just turn me down and mute me. Don't listen you to got, me. You got wrecked, Chief. Well you do. Technically you technically things, technically you wrecked yourself, but if if you say so though. You can't so Chico, refute the evidence. You, know, you can't oh, refute no, the evidence, no, dude. Joel, give me a second, please. No, what you say? Hey, dude. You said it's based on the state issues. Hey, you said it's based on the post that you stated. Now, we have some evidence to assume in the But you haven't made the leap. You haven't made a justification between that statement, that premise, and the premise of, okay, therefore the entire source cannot be trusted. That's what I'm waiting for. Yeah, whatever. So here's something for you. Did all the people climb out of their graves and start walking? Jerusalem on crucifixion, as reported in the Bible. This is the same. This is this is the same guy that was in the other VC about God ain't real, but he so he says that God existence is a rabbit hole. But we won't admit that science is a rabbit hole. I don't care, dude. I'm addressing the people who got out of their graves. And... Do you not think that somewhere it would be recorded in history outside of the Bible? Because yeah. if people started walking around my town, everybody would be talking about it. No, well, that's what the Bible is. Yeah, but it only occurs in oh. the Bible. It occurs nowhere well, else. The like, this Bible is written by followers. We would expect. Yeah. we would expect accounts from non-followers. Guess right. what? Yeah, break, breaking news, dirty. Cult manual affirms what cult what cultists hold, believe. Hold on, no, shocking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. News at eleven. Now you're, now you're trying to straw man. Hold on. It's not a straw man. Listen, not, now you're trying. Now you're trying to straw man. Listen, listen, listen. Look up the Bible. Only, the Bible only has biases. If you claim, if you impose,s it has biases. So what? That be the case. No, it's written by followers. Re the, regardless of whether I, or not you dude, say there's a bias, it's written curve by ball, followers. Curveball. No, not written by followers. Curveball. Curveball. Hold on, hold on. Now you're trying to Curveball. Curve I'm telling you, it is point. It is pointless to talk to dirty. It's pointless. It is you're pointless to, to talk to Dirty because yeah, he legitimately thinks the universe. You're trying to write him and me. You're trying to add him and him. Listen, the Bible is not written by followers. There's many times in the Bibles 
where a follower obstacle will have a will do a mistake right and they will record these mistakes down right so like when paul kicked the daughters out of his church if it was written by followers why didn't this paul remove that from the bible no the bible of course see people misunderstand the bible as being some sort of document where everything's the word of god that's wrong the bible okay. is when fallen humans have misunderstandings of god and we record those mistakes and then okay. we, us as a christian build a better christian from those mistakes yeah it was past. only the, okay do you understand do you understand that, do, I, do you understand were, that whether or not the authors are followers and whether or not the followers the Bible has visible. The Bible no, it was has only the believers bias. that knew that the people were previously dead. Nobody, everyone else just saw people walking around, but the believers were like, "Oh, I know who." Did that you is literally mute curveball just for yeah, speaking? Yeah, he did. <laughs> Dude, is no. no point in in like talking with dirty fingers. The guy literally thinks the universe is a result of. You can't even hold on, hold on, hold on. You're just mad. You're just mad. You're just mad because you won't admit because you, you won't admit that science is a rabbit hole. Yeah, you say God existence is a rabbit hole. So, dir so dirty. Which which one of the authors in the New Testament was not a follower of Christ? Basically, everyone. Basically, yeah. Paul, wait, so Paul was not a follower. Mark was not a follower. John was not a follower. No, they were not a part of the original twelve octopus, and they were not a part of the original twelve octopus. So, so I didn't say original followers. Part. I said followers. That's their okay. Then they're not followers if they're not Jesus. And if the they're believers, Bible. if they're believers, they're followers. No, that's not what a follower is, because you can be a believer what? in God and still have. Are you a follower of Christ? Yes, I follow the teachings of Yahweh. Okay. And Yahweh Does alone. Paul follow Christ? Mm -mm -mm, yes, but he has biases, okay. and I don't have biases. Does, does, does John, <laughs> the Gospel of John, does the follow Hold on, you're trying to straw me. Hold on, you're trying to straw me. And bait Who is this guy? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 I, I tried. I tried to believe in another chance. It's, yeah, it's, it's bad. It's, it's going to get really bad. I gave the definition of follower, and I said a follower is someone who follows. Yeah, this, this, this guy. This guy is all over the witness. This is the beloved disciple John. Hold on, you're getting. Hold on, you're getting mad because I'm not. I'm not. I'm not appearing to your definitions. See, I so, mean, literally, yeah, proprietary, de you just, proprietary you just definitions, was. proprietary definitions for very, very simple the words. Guys, if he's got to twist right it now. like that, he's got nothing. Okay, I'm going to twist it like that. Twist it like that. You're literally a little kid, That's bro. You guys right Can you now. shut up? Thank you. No, no because what, what you're saying, saying no, what it makes no sense. No, like literally no oh, sense. Oh, Your assertions are oh, incoherent. Oh, 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 Shut up, dude. You make random straw man as you red herring all of my arguments, and then you get mad when I call you out for your push. I, what do you yeah, got? Right, you're it, you're dirty, the one dirty, talking dirty, to like a child. We tell the argument, Dirty. We tell destroyed. the argument. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, me, Thank you. Thank you. So you can be a follower. So you can be a follower of Christ, but you cannot be a follower of his teachings. And not everyone in the Bible was a follower of his teachings. They had their own biases and they twisted the Bible. And the Bible was a historical oh, document that recorded their mistakes. Paul literally took out things from the Bible. This is common knowledge. Anyone with common knowledge knows that Paul took out things from the Bible and then twisted it so that the Aquitos liked them. But oh, no one, when, none, when James, no, the original, not James, 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 James. I told you. I told you. I tried to warn you. Like, what are you, a Jehovah's Witness or something? No, I just don't know. I just, I just, I just analyze the Bible and not. Hell, read I'm it. an atheist, but I know he's full of shit. <laughs> you think you're like a prophet or something? Like, you, you're better than the writer I've, of the Bible. Guys, we gotta give everybody a chance to express so their, their okay, question. So is it wrong? Okay, so is it okay? Right. Is it wrong? Okay, so is it wrong just to get back to don't listen to the derail trolls? Just get back to refuting the atheists. Yeah. Okay, so what was the atheist okay. argument? I think they that were, um, I think they were yeah. crying or something. About the about the uh, the resurrection, Wait, the Barth, resurrection Barth, being a made nobody, up story or something like. That. Well, no, no. The well, we the, we weren't really making an argument in that respect. Now there was the the sense that. Surprise, and even surprise. like biblical scholarship agrees right, right. in this that the resurrection is a theological claim and not a historical claim because the it only account of it the only it stop the only account of it can be found in the Bible. So, so I mean, true. as far as like like close to where it is, like that's the source claim, and then everything else just repeats that claim. But either way, it comes down to a biblical scholarship itself. Like devout Christians, yeah, well, they will agree that th this cannot be confirmed to be a historical event. It is a theological claim. So. The Bible counts as evidence, though. No, the Bible is the claim. Dude. 
No, you can't it's not use the Air Force hand like account. Hold on, hold on, no, it's hold on. not. It absolutely isn't. The, the time the frame, the time frames, uh, the literal time frames as to when these books were written. Biblical scholarship does not agree with you, like across the board. So, on, is, is the Bible a second-hand source or a first-hand source? Uh, second, Both. third, four. I mean, no, we're talking no. decades no. after the some of these were uh, some <laughs> no, of these some of these events no, were written isn't. down. Some of the, some of them were written down uh, probably like, decades no, after yeah. the events occurred. So first hand witness account. About stuff, first hand witness, the, witness account of Genesis. Okay, okay, Genesis is a first hand. So wait, wait. So Genesis is a first hand witness account. He's done. Hold on. Simple question: Would you at least assent to the truth that the disciples had interactions? With someone who they believed was Jesus resurrected, but not necessarily Jesus. Yes sure, no? it is, sure, it is entirely logical possible, logically possible that a cult okay, leader cool. so convinced a bunch of people you're to you're follow him. Cults. Chico, okay, so it's entirely people. logically possible. Everybody, heard <laughs> yeah. the boss, he's in bad faith. Yeah, I, I, I didn't mean it wasn't me. So. Um, but the, yeah, but the mean, claim, can, but the claim, can, that the claim that this cult leader was super. No. Okay, I mean, there's no need to mute him. I mean, I know he's a little bit passionate, but just let him go as well. Yeah, but the, the claim that he was supernatural in nature is an entirely different claim. It is entirely logically possible that a heretical preacher, you know, went against the... Okay, like, who keeps muting this guy? <laughs> who keeps muting him? <laughs> well, I mean, it's all, they, it's all they've got, so... Okay, guys. Like, whoever's doing like, this is not, not necessary. Give the it's the please. best part. I, I haven't listened to these guys give arguments yet. They're, they're right. giving an atheist giving an argument. We gotta give them the floor, bro. Come on. Yeah, let the atheist. So give the argument. Yeah, yes, it is well them. within the realm of logical. Yeah. It's yeah, well it's within not. the realm of logical possibility. That... Okay, but what I'm saying is that. It's like Occam's wow. even it's, even before okay. even before we yeah, address this yeah, yeah. account. I mean, Occam's razor seems to dictate that yeah, there yeah. is some veracity to the claims here. I mean, as as Paul Alphas writes, yeah. I mean, the claim yeah, that the, the claim of resurrection couldn't yeah. have been maintained if the fact of the tomb being empty was not established for all those concerned. Like, do you see? Do you see how that would be a necessary prerequisite? No, it would just mean that a bunch of people believed that an event occurred, and they continued believing that. And... <laughs> okay, okay. Well, can you just stop, stop ruthlessly trolling this guy. Just let him speak. Like it's not that deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let, let let JL get it out because I want to hear this argument, guys. Stop stop muting him. Let's hear the I argument. Mean, come on, this is typical Christian behavior. So no, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to get to a fair game here. I, right, I, I don't even think it's a Christian me and you, bro. I mean, who who in here is Christian as mod? I don't know. I I don't know who has mods in here anymore. Can can we just let JL give his argument? I've been waiting for an atheist argument for the longest. Please. Yeah, please. we need an atheist argument. Please. I mean, can Curveball at least give the argument? Because Curveball was, was talking before. Uh, about the testimony in Flavorum or just what? Yeah, that one or the other one. It was a few of them you guys were saying. Now that I'm home, I could actually start moderating here. Yeah, I mean, I think the most important part when we're speaking about the historicity of the resurrection is the fact of the tomb being empty, like the question around that. I think we can establish that. Then we can speak about okay, what's more likely here? What's more historically backed? So and from all the evidence body? we have, from all the evidence we have, it seems that the tomb was gen gen like genuinely empty. I mean, even the earliest, even the earliest rabbinical yeah, sources, yeah, but that it was empty. That yeah, but even I if it was, but even true, if it was, I can't prove it. JL, yeah, but, let, let him speak, bro. Come on, no. but even, hey, but, but even if it was, what the fuck? even hey, if it was mind. empty. If Occam's you, razor would say that. Excuse me. No, would somebody mute Joe Warren for me, please? On this kid. No, no, no one right. Can speak, and you're not going to stop no, no, me. No, you're not. No, no. Occam's razor would say that they. Occam's me, razor would say that his followers just moved his body to prevent it from Occam's being looted. Razor, you speaking? No, because. Be quiet. No, no, because hey, in order for in order for Occam's razor to apply there. Shut up, simple dude. I hang on, buff. Hang on, I'm going to get consent to say if it kills me. Right. I believe that to be true, Chico, just like you do. The problem is, neither of us can prove it. 
which is what JL's trying to point out to you, but you refuse to listen. Go ahead. Okay, all right. Thank you for that. All right, Chico, you're you're unmuted now. You can respond to that. Thank you. Uh as I was saying, this isn't necessarily a discussion of proof, but rather of historical veracity. Just because something is historical doesn't mean it necessarily happened. You understand? Right. right? It's it's a matter of what it, what this is a matter of is not multiplying your entities unnecessarily. The amount of assumptions you have to make in order to justify the supernatural claim as to why a particular tomb was empty, you have to multiply your entities a lot to get to there. Whereas the, oh, no, the least really, amount because... of if I can finish the thought, please. Okay. Well, if it wasn't supernatural, whereas how the least amount of assumptions are that a cult leader died and his cult followers mm -hmm. absconded with his body. Quit blasting, <laughs> Wait, All right, I gotta, are we I gotta able to give an, an alternative account of the it, tomb? It, you guys are letting him walk okay, alone. Guys. Okay, but it, the I issue with my conclusion on, is that... Chico, Chico, okay, hold on. Hold on. So, how many Christians are in the world? Let's say, what, two billion? Yeah. Two billion? How mm. many Muslims are in the world? Uh, like two billion? One and a half. Yeah, two million. One point two. Million and a half. I read one point two recently. Yeah, one point two. All right. So they, there, you have almost half the world that believes in the death and resurrection of Christ. I mean, that's even irrelevant. It's just going to appeal to my memory. Actually, the Muslims believe that he was substituted years later. Muslim. But it's it, it's that it's irrelevant. It's irrelevant yeah, how many people believe thing. it. They it's they just appeal to popularity. Years later, yeah. and it's in their book. They're not even denying Jesus. And um, okay, okay, okay. And but to be fair, an appeal to consensus is You got to recount that, bro. If you talk about no, no, you reject you. No, you reject it as a justification. No, you reject it as a justification because it's it's fallacious. It's an appeal to popularity. Was not good enough for you. It's an appeal to wait, wait, hold on. Fallacious. Hold on. It could be ten billion. It would still be fallacious. Yeah, Mark, yeah, yeah, there's eight. Right. There's listen. There's eight billion people on the planet, correct? That's the fallacy. So, fallacy. If, so wait, hold on. So if three point fallacy. Hold on. If three point two. If three point two billion the fallacy. Fallacy. Hold, hold on. One second. Oh my god. No, it's true. That is hold on. You hold on. If, I want a response to my. Uh, no, you, you don't. If three, I'm, 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 I'm responding to. I'm responding to Barth. I'm going to respond to Barth. So if three point two billion people. If 3.2 billion people believe in the resurrection, hold on, just hold one on, second. Just one on, second. Greg, I'm responding on, to Barth. Hold on, no, I'm cool. I'm cool. Hold on, Greg. Barth. So if 3.2 billion Jail, people believe in the resurrection, that. that means that there is 4.8 billion people who do not. So if we're uh, purely yeah, going on numbers, then more people uh, don't believe no, it. Wait, do. wait, wait, you're you're ignoring Taoism and you're ignoring Hinduism that has oh. like. That oh. has like way more many texts, and they believe in God. Come on now, dog. No, Come no. on. Wait, wait. Really is, Hindus, you know? Hindus do not believe in the in the biblical resurrection, Barth. Correct. A bunch of them do, actually. Yeah, a bunch of them do. Taoists do believe not in... believe in the biblical resurrection. Yeah, yeah but I mean, Hindus yeah, do that shit do. with everything. They try to incorporate everything into their pantheistic bullshit. No, so they believe in. It's not like a special Brahmin, cases. It's a well, god well, with no attributes. Chico, you realize that 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 Buddhism, no, sorry, that Hinduism. Which is responsible for the Vedas. The Hinduism yep. predates Christianity by over a thousand years. Okay. And as far as making predictions about the oh, world, they actually true. got the that's age of the true. earth really, really close. <coughs> but it actually is. Wait, wait, okay, hold up. So you understand that it is a fallacy to appeal to the age of any given thing as to its veracity, right? <sighs> In as much as it's appealing to the population, yeah. The yeah, it's, it's still fallacious. Okay, at least we're going that now. The then back to the discussion. Yeah. The point isn't to prove necessarily on a historical basis, because that's not even possible. The point is to decipher, or at least determine, what is more likely given the evidence, and what is therefore more historical. And Agreed. going off the conditions with, without, we have, without multiplying yeah, go, entities, without multiplying entities, yeah, exactly. So, right? So, in your analysis, what you fail to account for okay. is the fact that uh, the t the tomb of Jesus of Nazareth was encased with a heavy stone. And when I say heavy stone, going off both the biblical and historical accounts, if you don't count the biblical account as historical, mm -hmm. that stone required, that stone required, uh, well, I wouldn't say industrial, because at the time it, that wouldn't apply, but pseudo-industrial means in order to get there. So they had to use the Roman, the, uh, the local Roman contingent had to essentially be mobilized to put that stone in place. They had to use heavy equipment to get there. So if that what stone was... What do you mean heavy equipment? 
Yeah, heavy equipment in terms in terms of how so how it was done. Dale Warren is the legend. You like so they would use like a pool levy. They would use like a pool levy to get there. Most so likely, they would, most likely they would use an ox because the, the door rolled. Jail yeah, I'm aware, but a pool level would also work. Okay, so you're saying that other way, that way, other humans way, wouldn't have body. access to that? Prove your no. What I'm saying is that for what I'm saying is that for the disciples to sneak in the middle of the night and undergo that and undergo that process. Like, I mean, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty fantastical to believe they could do that without being detected. Prove it. Prove it. No, it's not. It actually isn't. All you need is enough people. They wouldn't even need that. They could literally, if they had enough human Prove beings working together, theory. they could just move it by hand. Okay, so how many human beings would be required to remove that, that stone? Prove your conspiracy theory. I, I don't know. We don't have the specific dimensions and okay, weight so... of the actual door. Yes, we do. Okay, well, I'm saying, know, okay so again, we've established that. It was a stone heavy enough to acquire. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, equipment. no, but uh, but you can't even justify that statement because all I'm, you I'm know was that, that it was a big. St it, all you know was it was a big stone. Yes, yeah, exactly. meal. Kind of of in place. Chico, Chico, all, all we can confirm is that it was a big rock wheel that rolled into place. Yeah. Obviously, exactly. Obviously, humans could roll it so that the tomb yeah. was open, and they could roll it so that the tomb was closed. Okay, okay, but I'm telling you that would require a large wheel, amount. I'm telling you that would require a large amount. You just need people. You just need enough people to push it. Yeah, and uh, yeah pull you it. just need enough. So we're talking about like what? At least thirty men minimum. No, no, no. it's a wheel. It's a wheel, you dude. All you need is no, left. No, no, Chico. Okay, so you understand? Just because something is a okay, wheel. Okay, he's, 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 he's just gonna interrupt. He's just gonna interrupt. He's got another wheel, dude. No, no, Chico. I'm not. No, I'm not. Chico. Chico. And also, I don't really grant the position that it was a wheel. Guys, okay, guys. listen. There were nineteen thousand tombs in Jerusalem's population, uh, which was Jail over. Dale Warren is asserting that he has evidence of a government conspiracy in the first century. I want the evidence of that. Go ahead, Jail. So, so again, so there were twenty. So again, there were roughly nineteen thousand tombs. Okay, there was no way it was going to take thirty plus people to move every single tomb for every burial in every single tomb. That's ridiculous. Yes, there was. The religion that has yes, no evidence was. behind it. No, because they're just by manpower. Right? No, you're Using the ones so that are alleging government evidence. conspiracies. With no because evidence. obviously the disciples wouldn't have wouldn't have access to oxen or pool levels. So well, then it's entirely manpower. Then it's entirely but possible that these things the were large century, and they were heavy, but they were take, movable by people because okay, they, so they, they could roll. Take a large amount of people. It would take an entire well, No, no, but Chico, Chico, people. Chico. Depending upon you the, keep the say my name like that, boy. Because I'm trying, mad. because I'm trying to get mad. you to listen. Depending nah, upon the, do we, dude, do we know what this? Do we know what stone was used for the door? Okay, going yeah, off, big, heavy one, going off the historical context. Probably great. Yeah, that's a good idea. It, it was a spiritual stone. <laughs> it wasn't the okay. mountain. So, the problem being, Chico, is that it is entirely logically possible <laughs> that the that the that, and you don't have to multiply your entities necessarily in order to understand that yes, oh, it is that he was executed, and then in order to keep people from looting his body or stealing yep. it or doing something with yep. it, they went and absconded with it. Yep. That's entirely okay, possible. Why, they, could taken, you, they could have taken his corpse. They, they, they could have taken his corpse and went and buried. They could have taken his corpse and went and buried it in a in a safe location. location. You would have you would have to multiply your entities to say that somehow How? the disciples the disciples were able to without detection move this heavy stone, which by Easily. manpower alone would require at least thirty. That's people. Guess what? Human beings secretly did a thing in the night. In a time when there was no such thing, in a time when there was no such thing as like, in a time, in a time period when there was no such thing as widespread security. Stop speaking. Stop. You're saying that a day after one of the most infamous, one of the most infamous political activists was entombed in his grave. You're saying that they were able to take that stone away, that heavy stone, under the noses of the Roman guards. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. They just needed. They only need. They needed to move it. They only needed to move it far enough. He rolled that stone away. This is a good map, but remember guys, 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 hold on. One, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Let's, we actually did stop guys, spazzing guys. out, dude. Just you calm down. Guys, we actually have, have the hold on, guys, guys, calm guys, down. one second. We actually Football. have tombs. Chill out, man. We actually have tombs from this time period. Okay? They tombs Duh. Duh. Little we actually no, there story. are actual <laughs> listen, there are act there's architectural evidence, okay? And they are typically so we do listen, have, listen, we listen. We do have tools from this time period, sir. 
They are four to six feet in diameter, okay? They weigh yep. roughly one to two tons, but because they were round and put into a groove, it was typical that it would require between two and six strong men to move it. So the so like we know this yeah, like we have historical three weak women that showed up to take right to that's right, what they so say they right but the right but the bowl well, first off there was okay like, so, Marx, so, there was so you're already saying a man that because there. they already had to move the stone you're saying that they already no, had to move a, the stone by Jesus. a small amount there. that therefore they wouldn't that was require the a large Jesus. they wouldn't require a large amount of equipment and or manpower to move the stone that 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 doesn't add up to just move it the stone immediately you still mountain. require a large amount of either equipment or manpower. Yeah, no. I mean, they can do yes, it. Roll into account. Like, again, let's look at this stone is... case at that point in time and place. These were heavy stones. You couldn't just move it with five people. Yeah, the 11 apostles couldn't have moved it, right? Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> the 11 way. apostles weren't there, man. They, they were, were all over the place. So, we have the strange. evidence. You know what you're, what, what you're basically stating God. now, Chico, is just an argument from incredulity. God Almighty so, had no, the strength. What I'm stating is an argument of Occam's Razor. What is the more plausible if event? Occam's so Razor smart, doesn't get you to supernatural it? explanations, yeah, it dude. Does. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Wow, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Do you know Occam's Razor? 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 Yes, I know what Occam's Razor is. Occam's Razor states. Wait. No, you can't. Chico, Occam's Razor states. I'm listening. Do I'm not but Occam's razor states do not multiply your entities unnecessarily. Do not make Shut any up. more assumptions right. than is necessary to come to a conclusion. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. If you're so how is that in, okay, no, Chico, Chico, in order for the supernatural to be a an explanation, you would first have uh, to assume that the supernatural exists. Yeah, and that is a more valid assumption than to say the No, it's not, because you'd have yes, to it demonstrate is. that it yes, does. It is. Yes, it oh, is. On the back Chico, of, uh, yes, it Chico, is. Chico you would have to demonstrate. No, Chico. To the night. Chico, okay, you okay, would have, okay, to, okay, demonstrate, okay, you'd okay, have to demonstrate that the source Warren, of the supernatural exists. Warren, and if you demonstrate how it occurs, you've now converted it to naturalism. Warren, simple question. If it is more logical, or should I say more plausible to deny the supernatural, then can you please explain to me the basis of logic itself? Logic is a descriptive language. What does oh, it have so to do with saying, anything? Okay, so you're saying so you're saying that logic doesn't have any ontological reality. I say that the on the ontology of the language of logic is mine. No, I'm not talking merely about a language because if you're saying it's merely a language, you're you're admitting that logic is arbitrary, which would be a contradiction. No, no, no. Me. Logic isn't arbitrary. It's a descriptive language. If it's describing description a of thing, what? It's a, Chico, a description of what? can I finish the thought? No, not really. You can't. Yes, I can. Logic, okay, so the language of logic, <laughs> the language of logic, the language of logic describes reality. Say again. Just like mathematics is a logical language that okay, quantifies okay, so, reality. Okay, so you so you admit that so you admit that even without human minds to quantify it, logic does exist. The the language, no. Things would just operate as they operate. Logic exist operate. without humans to quantify it. Okay, so what you're essentially saying is that the universe operates in a certain way without a true basis for why it operates that way. It just, no, it just it, of course it course does. The, of course it does. The okay, fun, so what's the basis? Okay, so what's fundamental the basis? The fundamental forces. The fundamental forces, which are? The laws of physics. Gravity, electromagnetism, physics. strong and weak okay, nuclear again, force. Okay, again, what Okay, again, what undergirds gravity? The interaction of the interaction the of bo the interaction of bodies with yeah, mass. Don't, don't understand Chico, my question. Chico, the under the interaction of bodies with mass on space-time. Don't space -time? understand my question. You don't understand my question. I'll ask you what the bird for how it operates. Physics. Where, 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 where are we? I, 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 I fail to understand where we're going with this because what we're, where we're can, going you, this is a Chico, you can't assert. Chico, you cannot assert the supernatural as a yes, cause. Yes, I'm Tigers. telling you that it is more plausible to assert No, it isn't, Chico. By definition, it is not. Yes, it is. Because to deny the supernatural is to deny any objective basis for logic itself. Which Incorrect. Would lead you wow. Yes, fucking okay, I'm, I, I can't yes, with this guy anymore. I can't. Okay, so I, 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 I can't. I can't. So so can't. Please, please. please. You don't even understand the transcendental position. I will let you. I will let you. I will let you, Christian. I'll let you. I will, I will leave it to the Christians. I will leave it to the Christians to police this guy's See nonsense. Ya, See ya, buddy. <laughs> See ya, buddy. See ya, buddy. Just, I mean, I'm, not I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to let your. I'm going to let. I'm going to let your fellow Christians handle you. Description grounded by nothing, and yet somehow it's true. That's your position. Just get to fucking. That's your position. Waffle on at each other.
Oh, it's it's what you think his position is. I'm trying to talk to you. Yeah, he just won't stop talking. Right, Chico, I want to hear the argument. Not the of waffle, what? the argument. Of what? Now, of what, what kind of argument are you going to give us? Your tag what? argument. What kind argument of argument what? is it? For tag? The tag argument you just said you were going to give. I wasn't going to give a tag argument. I was giving an argument for supernatural that supernaturality as a nat- as a natural precondition it's of a logic. Talking out of giving a tag. backup argument. Right, precisely. So that's a what claim. do you mean precisely? Tag, tag is the argument transcendental for argument for God. Tag is the tag. Yes, do you have the an argument, argument for, for that? Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? Give me the argument. Right, give me the argument. What okay, kind cool. Of the argument, argument is it? Okay, cool. The argument is that well, we have knowledge. That's is premise it one. Deductive, inductive. Can, can, or you, can, you, can you close your mouth? The argument is that ask, we have knowledge. The premise question. one. Is it an inductive? Can you shut abductive? your mouth and let me no, speak? Okay, speak okay so if you're not going to shut your mouth, I won't answer you. So well, are you, are you ready to answer now? Why are you speech? avoiding the question? Doing what I'm doing. Is it this an inductive, reason. abductive, or deductive argument? Just tell me, and then you can give me the argument. Okay, this I'm not wasting my time. Like you can't even shut your mouth for five seconds. I don't think you'll be able to. No, yeah, exactly, because you don't want to shut up. And... Because you won't answer a simple because, question. Because you, Is it abductive, you... inductive, well, or factor. deductive? You got, okay, so how do you guys explain sexual reproduction without any asexual reproduction? You do realize that DNA uh, is a self-replicating molecule, right? No, I replicated my DNA in the womb. I'm the god of myself. DNA, like, naturally I'm self-replicates. Like, oh, not into existence. DNA is a molecule that self-replicates. This is chemistry. How is that way? How is that, way? How is that relevant? It's not really because the nature of the thing is to replicate, and okay, the way so, it replicates hold on, hold on. is just it, the way hold it on, replicates. Hold on, hold on. That the on, manner does, in which it replicates is just a matter of natural selection. Hold on, how does DNA exist without asexual reproduction? Because there has to be something to replicate. How did how DNA, DNA yes, form? Wait, wait, wait. About sperm. How does how does DNA form? Do you know what DNA is? No, I said how does DNA exist, buddy? I'm 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 getting there, dirty. Listen to what I'm saying. Do you know what DNA is composed of? You get to your argument. argument. You get to your argument, buddy. Do you know how Mary could get pregnant so, with So, Dirty, do you know what DNA is physically composed of? Proteins. No, like, like at, at its very, very base. There are it's five. There are five okay. elements. There are five. Thank you, buddy. No. <laughs> okay. My, my, okay, so the whole argument. Now, hang on. Hang on. I'm not done. You wanted an answer. I'm, 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 I'm having to walk through this slowly for you. There are five basic elements. <laughs> there are five basic elements that compose DNA. Okay? Those five basic elements are in ready supply. Now, under specific conditions, those elements are one another. <laughs> They're sporadically like. So before human existed, right? So before DNA existed, right, there is no predictive model. So there has to be a supernatural force that came into to create the existence of this model. That's I mean, we argument. don't know that for certain. What do you mean? The, the, the material world is dependent. The material world is dependent. You're assuming, you're assuming there is something that existed before the material world right that's that's right. the idea so right. some old supernatural being that was able to will the material world into existence is that what you're saying? right yeah. right okay and like i understand the point of like because what these arguments seem to be going back to is that you can always keep going back and back and back and back and back until you unravel all of our current scientific understanding and then we get to an absence of evidence and that absence right. of evidence can be answered by the existence of a supernatural being that created our reality. Right. H- however, our scientific understanding is not, uh, it's not concrete, it's ever-evolving, right? We're not right. going to be able to answer every single question at this current moment. No scientist has ever been able to do that. Knowledge is becoming more specialized, more advanced. Our conception of what truth and reality is, is constantly changing. I mean, when you look at people thank you very much yeah so you look at people like plato and aristotle and they have this idea of uh, like an objective reality that we are unraveling that's what philosophy was about it was about getting at this objective truth this reality and on yeah but like the 
but do, so do you want me to make a point? Hold on, the internet. Hold on, hold on. The internet. Hold on, hold on. So, so hold on, the internet wasn't even around for a quarter. Just because I'm talking about things and you're like, I can't be bothered. You're not going to listen. I would love to listen to you and your retort, but if you're not going to give me that time, then there's no point in me talking. Okay, so that's okay then. So I'll just on, I'll just, just leave then because you guys are just taking the. Can I just say something? <laughs> can I just say something? Hold on, did he leave? Oh, did, did he leave? Oh uh, yeah. Well, the internet wasn't even around for a quarter of human existence. So how can the internet like be reliable for explaining absolutely everything? Because we're just gonna go back and back and back until we get until we hit a rabbit hole. Is this a rabbit hole? Because we can take all the old stuff and put it on the internet. Yup. Everything that ever happened is on the internet. No, like, so we can take all the information that was yeah, not that's digital. That's what you said is false, then. Yeah, we can take all the information that was not digitized, and we can digitize it and put it on the internet. Mm, no, because so everything humans working. ever known is yes, on the internet? Yes, we can. Everybody. Yes, we can. Like, literally the whole of human knowledge is on that's the internet. That's what I asked you. That's not what I asked you. Okay. Okay. Everything that humans ever learned on the internet, on the internet. On the internet. <laughs> Okay, if all of human knowledge... So is everything like, humans ever learned on the internet? Yes really? Do we have pictures of Jesus? I mean, no. there's still be there is a lot of knowledge that was lost. Though. Yeah, people are refusing yeah. to answer my question because the answer is obviously um, no, so what you said I mean, is false. So technically, no, we don't have all human knowledge on the internet. I saw a picture of a Jew's ass on the internet. Okay, no, well, he's just, well, well, well he, he's just silly. Well, he's just silly, so... We know. That's why what he said is asinine and retarded. <laughs> All right, look, look, look. When you look up who's the first humans, you get um, Homo erectus, Homo sapiens, right? When you look up who's the first Homo sapiens, what? No. Just, oh, oh, what, what kind of name is Homo no. erectus? Like he was the dick that killed him. Dude, no, no, that's that's <laughs> not. That's, no, no. Modern, uh, anatomically modern human beings, Homo sapiens, didn't come around. They've only been around about two hundred thousand years. And Wait, you know that how? Forward. I'm trying to go backwards. That's the going. Consensus. Okay, you're like going backwards. I mean, going going backwards. I mean, you, you have to. Be, you're getting into the the uh, the Australopithecines and early Lucy. forms of hominids. So, because remember, remember, it's a ne it's a nested hi it's a nested hierarchy. So you're going to get back into uh, hominid basically that's hominini that, and then the, the early they're not, hominids. They're not humans. No, know, they're not uh, humans. Yeah, we are hominids. That's not the taxonomic category. Did you know humans are great yeah, apes? Yeah, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He We're actually great apes about. if you Google great apes. We're great apes. We're hominids. We're, we're primates. All right, listen. Everyone in here is barking like a right, monkey anyway. I don't want to misconstrue. I don't want to misconstrue any more arguments. So, so let me get this straight. So one day on Earth, um, a random DNA molecule just randomly popped up and then created the entire human lineage. Is that what you're saying? No. It's like the dumbest shit you've ever said. <laughs> so, so. Unintentional ontological evolutionism is the dumbest shit ever said. Okay, so if you guys disagree with this notion, then why are you guys disagreeing with supernatural forces? Because it's super to be okay. Because to explain that, I'm so spuggy, honestly. Like a shot. To explain that, when you're ascribing something to the supernatural, okay, to say that the cause of a, of an effect is supernatural, essentially, what all you're saying is that you can't currently explain it. So the explanation oh, is no, beyond. No, that's not what you're saying. Like, do you understand wow. the concept of a transcendental argument, bro? Chico, shut up. And no, let me I don't think I will. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let him speak. Hold on, hold on. He, we let you okay. speak for about 10 minutes. You're basically saying that the explanation for a particular observation or of an observed phenomena is currently unexplainable by the like the laws of nature no, or like well, the understood laws of nature. All you're doing is just making an assertion. You haven't made an argument, Bozo. I'm trying to get there, Chico. How about you <laughs> yeah, shut you your fucking mouth? There. You ain't getting there, dog. Can you, can you be quiet? Yeah, let him make I'm his trust in different argument. argument. <laughs> so... <laughs> You guys just won't even let him talk. Oh, it's yeah. good LSF, right. you are correct. You are absolutely correct. You're probably right. You're probably right. So, um, the bit issue being is that when you ascribe something as like an, a cause is supernatural, 
what you're stating that is that the thing itself, the effect or the cause of the effect cannot be essentially explained by how we understand nature. Okay. You're ascribing. <laughs> oh my That's God, let him go, let go. <laughs> all of reality was created by nature <laughs> so so i don't believe in it so in that respect the problem being is this the way the problem you run into is this if you were able to explain it by natural means like if you were able to just let them go they're doing it again they muted <laughs> what the hell is wrong with y'all <laughs> let them. Yeah, they are cow. They are cowards. They are cowards. Fucking pedantic oh, and sophist. <laughs> immature. Let so uh, I, the issue being that if you were to be able to explain it, the cause would no longer be supernatural. It would be natural because you'd be able to explain it. Now, the problem is the real big problem is that when you refer to it as supernatural, you have no reference point other than the fact that you can't currently explain it. That doesn't indicate your lack of ability to explain a phenomenon does not indicate that supernatural elements or things that exist or transcend reality exist. You're simply ascribing it to these things okay, well, because you can't currently explain it. You that's, explain, that's the issue. And you, so the notion, you assume and you explain the notion of logic through natural means. So you I, so you assume that these things exist in order to reference them as causes. That's Can you the issue. Explain the notion of That's logic the problem with making supernatural means. claims or ascribing to the supernatural as an explanation for anything. Okay? You can just say, with intellectual honesty, that you don't know. Well, you can just acknowledge that we can know and stop just presupposing that we can't know. You could do that too. We can't know. Everybody's agnostic whether or not they're smart enough to realize it. Go ahead and argue for that. You can't beat the agnostic position. Go ahead. Go ahead and argue for that proposition. Said you can't beat okay. it, like, there is yeah, no so evidence you, you that anybody can prove or disprove a god. Right. Wait, Dude, on, that's so not an right. argument. That's another Wait, assertion. On, You're taking the there question. There is no evidence. Say an argument by some rule of inference. You have to bring the evidence because the agnosticism mm -hmm. no, is the default position. No, you have yes, a proposition. It is. No, you Google, have a proposition. Google, you argue for the proposition. You didn't argue for the proposition. Stop talking to me. You didn't argue for the proposition. You have to argue for the proposition, not just repeat the proposition. Anything. You're literally coping and seething. You have to argue for the proposition, not just repeat the proposition. Hey, just Trez, take it for I got to ask. Trez, you don't understand that basic premise. They think they can just restate their position, and that's another. I'm just curious if, if it's you right. or if it's, if, it's, if it's somebody else. Because I, I, every time I, it happens, I, I hear. Any mod powers. Oh, you don't have okay, mod powers. So, okay, so Warren, as I already asked you three let's, times let's, over, um, let's can you explain the notion of logic naturally? Chico, calm down. Let's give let's let the APS. Give, give it. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, man. God bless you. So let's you. let let's let the atheist give the argument here, because um, I mean, we all know the Christian arguments, and they're all spectacular. So we want to give them a chance to uh, go ahead, JL and and uh, JL and what's the other guy? Oh, he left. I was just saying, atheist means not theist. Everybody's agnostic. Yeah, I mean, to, I mean, to be fair, the atheist have been speaking for a hot minute, but I guess we're just gonna give it more the time. There goes always. Tico again. So how do you oh, know everyone doesn't guy. know? Man, these argue guys, for the proposition. Nobody's yeah. ever shown it to be the case that they know anything about these, God these or guys. Okay. These You're guys just repeating the proposition. You might as well just try to find a, a more like if Barth is not going to handle these positions. Sort of if, if Barth, you Barth, you're not going to mob these cats. agnostic in a debate. You can't. Barth, it, Everybody knows that. Okay, yeah, so I'm once again, you're not arguing for the proposition. You need to argue for the proposition by some rule of inference. You haven't done it yet. You're just begging the question. It is just the case. I'm not begging any question. You are. You're oh, it's trying just, to turn just the case. Just ipsy dixy. It just is the case. I have to argue for the know proposition. You don't know. Yeah, it's just ipsy dixy. Yeah, stop truth. talking to me. Yeah, stop talking to me. You haven't argued for the proposition. It's just ipsy. Yeah, it just and not actually say any argument by any rule of inference. Say an argument now. Everybody's agnostic whether or not they're smart enough to realize. Just repeated the proposition. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So before uh, religion existed, you know, there were just people just looking up to the stars. You know, like human scientists used to think that just the, just the solar system and then the, the suns existed in that in that time. Then it existed. It was just when you know, the stars would rotate around. You know, that's what Greeks did. You know that, right? So by your own logic of nature, it's in human nature to explain the unexplainable by 
super um, human. So yes, it is proven that spirituality exists. There's solid proof for that. It's not just an influence, not just a random ex external similar. It's not just it's not made up. It's it's by our very nature, you know. Hey Benjamin, uh, do you know? God. Do you know that everyone's agnostic? Or are you what agnostic they, about everyone you being agnostic? They can answer my fucking question, please. No, you're not gonna meet him. Okay. This guy's saying he knows that everyone's agnostic, but that seems like a contradiction. Like, how does he know that if he's agnostic about everything? <laughs> how does he know that? <laughs> I mean, how does right. he even know he exists? We people used to pray to the sun before they prayed to the God. People used to pray to the sun before they prayed to God. Like, not everyone is agnostic. Come on. Doesn't mean that what they're praying to actually exists. I'm saying the agnostic man. So you're not, the sun doesn't exist. The sun, the sun no, doesn't exist. Doesn't no, exist. doesn't mean that it. No, no, it doesn't mean that the properties that they think that it has exist. It just means that they were they they were ascribing things to the sun that weren't true. But hold on, hold on, hold on. We know that the sun isn't a necessary precondition for life or not. And guess what? Humans are prone to type one and type two errors. So okay, okay, we, no, we ascribe so values mean, to shit that doesn't that's inappropriate all the time. Wait, hold on, hold on. So if if all wait, hold on, wait. I have our so if all humans are prone to error and God isn't prone to error, then obviously per perfect perfectionism had to be used to create the material. No, it's circular re circular reasoning. It assumes that the God exists in order to do that. Okay, no, so you understand by your own logic though. I'm not assuming the God exists. Your own logic, though. I'm not assuming that God exists. I'm proposing to you a reason why a lot of human beings uh, succumb to explaining things with spiritual reference is because wait, we are wait. emotional creatures that are prone to type one and type two errors. And we tend to side with things that confirm our, our already uh, you know, inherent biases. But but you have to understand something. If everyone is agnostic, right? In order to get the truth. Agnostic. No, if, 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 in order to get the truth. In order Everybody's to get the truth. Everybody's agnostic to universe, unicorns and Bigfoot to have too. Some sort you can't of, prove uh, or disprove uh, a uh, unicorn or Bigfoot. Or a god. We we would have to have some sort of perf per perfect medium in order to get the material universe right. No, we wouldn't. We would just have to look at ourselves. And, no, 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 we wouldn't. Exist. No, we wouldn't. We just have to look at ourselves and think what would be more powerful than us to do these things. Why do you think? Do you know why do you think the vast? Why do you think the vast majority of gods that have ever existed throughout human history are anthropomorphized? So you admit how do you admit know that because you admit something had to be more powerful than us to create? No, no, that's human beings conceiving of something more powerful than they are. It doesn't mean that thing exists. Wait, so we just don't exist then? No, no, the things that we the things that we conceptualize don't exist. They're abstractions. Well, we can conceptualize. Okay, so we can conceptualize the phenomenon from God, but we can't conceptualize God itself. No, no, we can we can observe phenomenon and then conceptualize that there's a God that is the cause for that phenomenon when we don't know the actual answer. So okay, so if if okay, so nothing is perfect, right? What is perfect? Um, perfect is the state of being absolute. <laughs> Did, is uh, can a, can a perfect thing change? No, because it's absolute. Does the universe change? What could be perfect? So hang on a second. Yeah. Does the universe change from point A to point B of the universe? Will it change? Um, yep. Yes. Okay, so the universe is not perfect. Right. The universe oh, so there must perfect. be something about right. the universe. No one, right? no one expected it to be. No one would expect it to be. It's, okay, it's so all it is is stable. That's all it is. But eventually, it will not be stable. It, so no, no, it's, it's not stable. All, is it? all it is is stable. That's, that's all we call it. It's stable enough in order to be consistently expanding and allow for opportunities like complex chemistry to give rise to, to give rise to life. No, that's no, it. No, okay. There's nothing okay, intentional okay. Or, or agentially intentional about the whole process. Oh, we no, are products of the universe. If this, okay, if this yeah, planet had been different yeah, in some way, I'm I'm like down, with I'm different down. evolutionary pressures, we'd I'm look down, entirely down. different. Yo, Chico, all I'm you're down. doing is over talking. Oh, Chico. With, without teleology, without yeah, teleology, all you're doing is over talking, bro. You gotta let him finish, Chico. Come on, bro. Okay, so I know Chico will never let you talk. Every single room with Chico in it, I don't want to finish Chico. Even though even though yeah. he was on the yeah. last one, we're gonna let you have a I can't I can't even can't even get sorry, Chico. All right, so go ahead, JL. Run the argument one more second because I couldn't hear you because Chico wouldn't stop talking. I apologize. I don't know where it got in he's unmuted now, so 
I didn't, I didn't, I didn't interrupt him. Period. You're just fucking pro like a bitch. He's gonna he run has logaria. It's excess of talking. It's a mark of narcissism. So I don't know where it got interrupted at, but I mean, I didn't interrupt him at all. The, okay, the, uh, uh, the universe, the universe is stable. The universe is not perfect because a perfect thing cannot change. The perfect <laughs> thing would be static because if it changes, then it is it changing to get better or changing to get worse. A perfect thing wouldn't change in either direction because it would already be the best that it could possibly be. Hold on, hold on, and, but we're going down to wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. But if, <laughs> if humans don't know everything, then someone that knows everything will have to correct the universe, correct? No, incorrect. Uh, and in, in, incorrect. And the just because the amount that we don't know is higher than the amount that we do know does not increase the odds that such a thing exists. It does not increase the odds. So you're just like giving right. a search, but you never actually give an argument for like these No, things. no, I, I'm, I'm, I'm exploring the logic on this. It's like, yes, it, if you look at the two circles, like the one circle being what we know and one circle being what we don't know, obviously the don't know by virtue of the size of the universe is greater than the size of what we do know. But right. just because there's more Ooh. that we don't know oh, no. does not increase the probability that gods or any of these things exist all right all right so by virtue there's no inference there's no real inference we so by virtue there's no real infer or reference we can use for the universe because we don't know everything no no we, we could re we could reference what we have experience of the, the the point is are the conclusions that you're coming to by virtue of what you're referencing justified so if we are referencing external reality as we can demonstrate it to come to a probabilistic the probabilistic certitude of an answer as being representative of a reality that's backed up by by a mind independently verifiable evidence but if you're just conceiving of a thing as a hypo as a hypothetical like what if there's this thing that is this that does that you know what if x exists and x does y well the problem is you can't assert that anything in reality is done by this thing until you demonstrate the existence of the X. Now, the existence itself implies that it has realness, that it is mind and context independent, that it has substance, yeah, that it can be demonstrated. So th there's the problem. So literally, Wait, by claiming right, these I mean, things I mean, exist. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, the existence of this necessary I mean, being. The impossibility of the concept. No, no, th that's the problem. You're assuming that there has to be a necessary being. No, 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 there, there would be, because yes, without it, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have knowledge. No, without you can define, oh, look, I could define my phone as a necessary being. So, wait, you're, wait, wait, you're wait, ascribing wait. attributes to a thing, that this thing could pretend, that there could be a thing that exists that does what you think it needs to do, uh -huh. but the... Hey, dipshit, I ask you a question. They can't it? even explain how to believe in it. Could you put it on the wait, 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 wait. So his logic is that everything is explained, but when we get to unexplainable, it just suddenly like we stop there. No, we don't. We, we say we don't know. Much. We say we don't know, and then we work to find the explanation. Okay, yeah, but there's no way you don't answer this question. question. So I'm you do you understand? Reviews, you do okay. understand fundamentally. You're Hold never going to get an empirical answer. Nico, one second, one second, one second. I'm trying to moderate. Hold on. Look, J. L. Warren. If you okay. talk past me again and you do not answer this question, you will remain on mute. Do you understand? Okay, now, why did you think deduction required observation? Wait, wait, sorry, what? Why did you seem to think that uh, deduction requires observation? No, because he's talking about a thing that exists. Are you, are you saying that he's formulating oh, a deductive my, argument yeah. for a dog? Can you deduce things that you hold don't hold hold observe? On, I'm off the argument. I changed, hold on, I'm, I'm off the argument. He, he's saying, like, just answer the question, why does observation exist? I don't know I what deduction is. Are you psychotic? Going in on you said we needed to I observe it to know it exists. That's not even like, oh, okay, whatever, Mole. You, you, yeah, have, you do your thing, man. Get wrecked, nerd. Got fucking dominated, dude. Absolutely dominated.